just on the other side of the, uh, the movie studios uh, and so on. So it's really great to see you. It's great to see Norello uh, being uh, as they are, going from strength to strength. Our community is constantly growing with uh, more and more at-large structures that are joining and uh, more and more work being uh, undertaken. Since I started four years ago, uh, the number of uh, policy statements has exploded in, uh, in numbers. Uh, we've had more uh, statements than at any other time in our history. And of course, it's all down to the very hard work of all of the volunteers in this organization. The pen holders, the people that bring in the comments, that go back to their communities and that try and find out what the point of view is of the internet end user. Because that's what, that really is what at large is about. Bringing in the input from the internet end users with volunteers that go to ICAP meetings, that talk on countless number of conference calls, that spend nights working on issues which affect them eventually, but which they have absolutely, in which they have absolutely no financial incentive. So it's, it's really great to see so much dedication from so many people. In addition to this, uh, I'd like to add that uh, Naralo uh, being uh, in, a, in a, a region of the world which really doesn't have much problem as far as internet connectivity is concerned, each region is, is very different from each other. So some regions have language issues. Some regions have accessibility issues as far as geographical location, as far as internet connectivity. And, and you know, they, they also participate. But this region has a number of other issues that it started looking at. And I'd like to recognize this. Most recently, we've had a new at-large structure that dealt with disability issues. The forgotten billion people um, on the internet that um, nobody really thinks about, but in fact, there are quite a few people out there. And on one occasion, I have felt uh, that uh, disability by breaking a leg while skiing. I'm not a very good skier at all. I broke my leg, and it's only then that I really realized that life is a lot harder uh, when you have uh, such a, a, a problem. And unfortunately, uh, on uh, the internet and in many of those organizations uh, that are uh, companies and not-for-profits and, and so on that don't deal with these specific issues, we don't really have very much time to think about this. So that's, that, I think it's important to note that Naralo has led the way in uh, having an outlaw structure that deals specifically with those uh, issues and that a working group has now been created in at large uh, to deal with these issues. Another issue in the North American region, and in fact in some other parts of the world as well, is that of uh, the um, uh, first, what, what is the name? First uh, Nations. First that's Nations. It. I'm not used to saying it in this way because in French we have different, uh, uh, different uh, expressions and so on, but First Nations. And it's also very good to see that Naralo has taken the lead on this and uh, has uh, decided to dedicate its showcase today uh, to First Nations. It's uh, certainly a, a first step. I think other regions might do this as well with their local communities. Um, but um, uh, really, uh, we'll see a little bit later. I, I'm really looking forward to this showcase because I think I'll learn a lot. Uh, being a, a stupid Frenchman that only thinks of Americans as eating hot dogs, hamburgers, <laughs> and Elvis Presley, um, I'll learn a lot more about this country. So um, without any further ado, um, I'd like to uh, introduce, I think Steve hasn't made it yet, but perhaps we can swap uh, and people over. So uh, introduce Fadi Shahade, who's the president and CEO of ICANN. Fadi. Okay. Good evening to all of you. Uh, it is good to be in my region, my personal region, and here in LA, my, my hometown. I start the week by looking at my calendar for the whole week, and uh, since I'm in my hometown, uh, I live at home with, uh, besides my wife, obviously, with my mother. Uh, and so I said, Mom, you should, would you like to come this week? And uh, we were looking at the whole calendar of the week when she should come. And then I thought of her as, uh, really, she should be in the Rallo because she is an end user. And so the only half 
power, and my mom is here, Obi is now. So she's oh. right there.
say, and I, I think I'm not speaking out of place here with all of you in the room. Um, we were struck by your diversity. I mean, you really, I mean, we go, I go to so many ICANN sessions where it's, frankly, people from the same region talking. But here, each one of you brought a completely different perspective. And you really cover the regions. You know, you are what ICANN should be. Really remarkable. Uh, I want to commit to you here in front of many of my team members that we will take what you told us to heart and we'll learn from it. Uh, uh, we can ask uh, Olivier and Alan. I met with them again this afternoon. Which, this is the kind of thing we didn't do as much before, and I'm very glad I did. And again, Alan and Olivier gave me good points of input in the areas where things are not working. And uh, we will we will address that uh, with with full with the full uh, with the full power of our resources, but more importantly with the full commitment uh, to the public interest, which you represent uh, very very well in a very diverse and real way. So North America uh, is it 32 now, Evan? Are we 32 ALSs? Where is that? Now? Or is it 32 ALSs now? And I think you just added two. I understand the Manitoba E Association. Where? Okay, here he is. Hi. Congratulations. Well done. And the Native Public Media ALS. Right here. There they are. Congratulations. Well, happy to have you. And uh, the showcase is a beautiful thing. Your community, the Rao's. That's why, again, I thought this is a good time for, for my family to be able to see it and enjoy it and understand the community aspect of it. And we make policy, we make governance, and we do all kinds of things, but it's the community that makes many of you come in year after year and invest. Uh, we have one of our senior staff members celebrating a very important birthday today. So I saw her in the morning. Congratulated her. It's a big birthday. And I said, Wow, you're here at an ICANN meeting. I'm, I'm sorry that you have to be at an ICANN meeting instead of being. And she looked at me and very sincerely told me that, that I am with my right. family. This is my community. I feel very good. She, she, she was here working all day. She just left now to celebrate with her, with her friends the evening. So, this is a family. And you will to discover that despite the raucous arguments and but you know we argue in my family too uh, so long as we have common principles and common values which we do here. Uh, this is also the community that brings us frankly to the truest part of our public interest commitment so you know, I was telling Alan this afternoon, I said, I deal with business people, I deal with registries, I deal with registrars, we deal with government, we deal with different people, but they all come, rightly so, with their agendas. I mean, they have interests and they're trying to pursue them. Here, it's pure. Each of you is here because you're a user and you want to bring the internet to the user community um, and make it an internet that serves you. So, good luck to you here. And you, congratulations. Uh, I hope you have a, a successful experience with us. Welcome to ICANN. Thank you. Oh, Given that speech, you would be welcome at any ALAC meeting for sure. Um, <laughs> I'd like to turn over to Steve Parker. Steve. So I, I apologize for being um, a few minutes late, and it puts me in the uh, the usual unenviable position of having to follow the funny. <laughs> um, did a quick bit of reflection um, when we uh, started building the network some forty odd years ago. Uh, the real focus was just on the mechanics, of how we move bits around, how we connect computers together. But we also recognized very quickly the social impact, uh, and, and, and there's been a whole history of making up slogans, and our very first slogan was networks bring people together. 
uh, relationships are formed, communities are formed, uh, and uh, it, it really changes our lives. The, um, uh, as the network grew, uh, much bigger things happened. And one of the very biggest things is that it made possible uh, reaching the communities that have not been the dominant communities that, that uh, control of the media and control of all the resources. And it's provided um, an opportunity for preservation, for flourishing, for growth, uh, and uh, for connectivity that might otherwise uh, have been lost. And so just as the rise of the technology has in some ways been uh, a force that's pushed out old things, it has also been a force in the opposite direction that's made it possible to preserve uh, both on a personal level, a family level, a community level, uh, spiritual, religious level, uh, and to do that not only within the uh, local geographic community, but also spread all, all around. So um, uh, I think it is extremely um, uh, positive and heartwarming to us who are sort of in the trenches of still working on the technology and making work that it has as much of an impact as it has. It makes it possible to have uh, all of you here and in many ways this is the payoff for all of the things that we've done. There's a real uh, sense of fulfillment on our part and satisfaction and appreciation. So thank you very much.